Your yes. name is? Yeah, my name is Derek Lige. Right, from yeah. the Pueblan area. Pueblan area, more or less like the George Ridge. Yeah, the George Ridge right. area. And with this area here, Cat Silly hunting a long way. I'm hunting here probably since I have about 12, 13 years. About 13 years? Yeah. Right. Well, you, um, what do you have to say about hunting? You find you like to hunt? For, for me, hunting is a sport for me. Right? So we mostly come and hunt, catch up your booty, come back and line, more or less. Right. Now, about, about the commercial part of it, we don't sell no meat, that, that kind of thing. It's more a sport for me. Right? Right. And I enjoy the, the dog hunt. You know, you can chase, you know, mining dog. That is my okay. part of the, the, the hunting. You have um, dogs of your own? Yes, yes. Right, right now I have um, seven, seven dogs. Right. Now seven dogs you're talking about real expensive to my Yeah, name. yeah. And every week, you, every month you go, dog guys going up, chow going up. So it's, <laughs> it, yeah. it, it, right now it, it's getting hard to right. wait that amount of dogs. But you're still buying, you're still, you yeah, like yeah. hunting enough to do that. Yeah. Oh, one question I want to ask you, as a hunter mm -hmm. for 13 years, how you find hunting was this year? It was, in the beginning it's a tough kind of slow, but in the beginning of the season, really do how much feeding around the area and thing. But as the feeding and thing come around, you find the little catches be a little more. Right. But the dogs in the beginning of the season, they were not professional dogs, though. No, right now the dogs that I bring in as young dogs, is the dog, those dogs only have about six, seven months. So you and might attribute that to the, um, to the hunting slow, being slow in the beginning? Well, not exactly. Well, I have other partners who are the hunters who have good trained dogs already. Right. right? So, but um, even though they are good trained dogs, you find it, they, they take it long to raise a goatee, you have to go far. When they do raise one, it's long in right. But no, now you find that now coming to the close of the season, you find more um, goatee or what? Or well, what? right now, right now, have the feeding, have feeding around, close around. So you find you raise goatee faster, you raise more than one. Sometimes dogs split two, three goatee, they run in at the same time, you know? So you want to attribute to wildlife to feed? Yeah. Right, yeah. and you say that when there is feed? Yeah, when, there is when there is you feed, it, feed around, the animal then will be around. Right. At so least you, closer to the camp area, you know. Right, but your problem of the, the, there is no need as far as you see for closing of any season or anything like that for wildlife to multiply? Nah. Right now I don't see the need. Um, for that, right, but it, what I see is the, the, I think in the commercialization of uh, wild meat, I think that have a big part to play with the amount of animals being caught and, and, and being sold. Because for us, from the time we catch two goatee, we come back in camp and relax. Right. But for the commercial hunter, yeah, they make it quota. Right. You understand? But this area here, you find you have more hunters or less hunters? Plenty more it? hunters from, as a matter of fact, hunters coming from all Shagwanas. Okay. All central, some of them even up north coming down in this area right now. There are a lot of new faces we see down in this area, a lot of dif different people that we don't normally see around these areas. And what right. you do find out is the, from Central, you know. But although you have more people coming in, you still find the catches the same. The catches reasonable. It's reasonable, yeah, reasonable. Right. So you is a guti hunter or what type of hunter? Well, mainly guti, but I mean, anything, anything from, the dog run. Right. Once we have permit fit, we, you know. Right. But to make sure we have. Everybody have permit for whichever species, you know. Now the up. other thing is that COVID guidelines here, um, you observe in only COVID guidelines, don't you? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yeah, we have the sanitizers, we have the mask. Well, I mean, in this case, it's me alone here, so. So season, season close Monday? 
Yes. You will be looking forward to the to the to the, to the open of the season in October. Yes, very much because I mean, right now I am looking to invest in some more dogs, puppies, and stuff for next season. You know, so I am looking forward for the season being open. All right. Well, thank you very much, um, Derek. You you seem to to be a real good um, a, a, a man who likes your sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I love it. Love it. Yeah. I wish you all the best and we hope that they open the season next year. Yeah, I'm hoping that too. Yeah. I'm hoping that too, baby. <laughs> all right.